this is a national I'm SW3 wanted to um, sort of d would demonstrate it show you how an SW3 works and sort of talk a little bit about it uh, the SW3 came out in about uh, 1931 it stayed in production for uh, 10 years uh, up until World War II it it, it is basically a three-tube regenerative receiver. What you see here is a tuned RF stage. You see here the regenerative detector. And in back here, this is a audio output. It is a, a headphone receiver. Um, uses plug-in coils. You see uh, one, this is the RF stage plug-in coil here. Over here on the other side, that's the detector stage plug-in coil. And when you uh, use an SW3 in order to change bands, you end up uh, uh, putting in a, a different set of, of uh, coils for each, um, for each band that you want to use. Right now, this particular SW3 is set up on, on a set up on not set up on, on 80 meters. Also connected to my SW3 here. On the bench, you see I have a, a speaker, an audio amplifier unit that I built up. Uh, the SW3 by itself is a headphone receiver. So I find it handy to have a, a speaker attached to it. So I built up this unit that uh, has, a, has a little non-audio amplifier in it, um, uh, a, a switch for uh, transmit and receive. A little CW monitor, regulated power supply that's available, but I don't use it for uh, the. Uh, but I don't use it on the SW3. I have a regular power supply for it. All right, let's let's uh, take a minute here and just play with the SW3 to see how it sounds and how it works. I have a volume control on my speaker here. Crank it up a little bit. This is this is uh, this is this a meter phone. To be that big a bunch of those, they, they should have been have, the flight should have went through that first storm we had. I think I huh. thought they had because we didn't. The see SW3 any has a, while, a regeneration control here, and you see when it when it's not in regeneration, uh, sideband doesn't work. You uh, turn it into regeneration. And it works. This other control. This other control peaks up the antenna a little bit. All the controls interact a little bit. This is an RF gain control. And it. In the process of changing the volume, it also interacts. What I've added to 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 control the gain a little bit is this little box here, which is basically a capacitor that's inserted with the SW3 uh, antenna, and it forms a volume control that, uh, the, since it is isolated from the regenerative detector, it forms a volume control that does uh, not interact with the receiver tuner. Now, the SW3, of course, is also real sensitive to, to overload. If you give it too strong a signal, everything gets distorted. You see here, try to crank the volume up too loud. So anyway, that's the SW3. The other thing to keep in mind 
Let's crank up the volume a little bit here. And you tune across both sidebands. So you have to be real careful when you're tuning in the station that you're tuning in the right sideband as you tune across the signal. Let's go down and see if there's anything on the CW here. No trouble at all finding stations to listen to here on 80 meter CW. So we'll move up here to the phone band and listen to the mail here on 80 meters. <laughs> 